um, <clears throat> while you were away for Christmas, because we were gone a very long time, then you were going to a ball game. So we recapped a lot of everybody else the first two days we were back. Uh, but you um, – you really haven't. We haven't talked much about what you were doing on vacation because <laughs> you weren't here to talk about it. So, uh, what? Did, well, did, I knew. Been any I knew. Did, did, I knew. Did, that do I Christmas, have it right? You spent Christmas with a Lithuanian. Do I yes, have that, that right? That is correct. Oh, that okay. is correct. And I, I'll say this: it's my first Christmas to spend with a Lithuanian. Is it? First time ever. What oh, was his name? Good. It was a she. Oh, uh, Lysia. Uh, well, explain and, uh, explain why that is real well, quick because that it, sounds it, real it, bad. It, it's a long it's a long story. Right, Lysia. Uh, oh yeah, I, and I'm not even going to try her last name because the Lithuanian alphabet has more sounds in it than the English one does, and I can't make those sounds. So I can't say try her last just name just for me. No, I could show you how it's spelled, and I, I don't even think your computer could get through it. It's you know, it's just very foreign to the English speak. Yeah. Um, but uh, it, it's it's kind of an, a, a long story, but it's a very happy and good story. Um, mm-hmm. And I'll try to give you the short version of it. The uh, uh, the tennis coach at the University of Montevallo, which is a university located uh, here close to Birmingham, and uh, he was a, a good friend of mine, and uh, we, uh, for very selfish reasons, uh, he, he had been offered a job at the University of Central Florida. And I was trying to convince Mark, his name's Mark McGuigan, to stay here in Birmingham. Now, I really, it, it looked like at one point I was lobbying Mark for the university, but I was not. It was very selfish because he played on one of my tennis teams and he was my partner. Well, so. wait just a minute. You're talking about an old man tennis you're no, this to, was not the old man tennis team. This was the regular tennis team. Okay, so you're talking about you're talking about you, you're. This the, is the one I play on with the college guys. Okay, right. And you what? were you didn't want to lose a player, so you made a guy change his career path. Well, I was trying to, to get him to Florida. stay there, right? Right. Okay. And it really was a great a chance university. for him to move up and be yeah. an assistant well, men's yeah. coach at Central Florida, because they're a tennis powerhouse and it's uh, you know very prestigious. But I was trying to get him to stay in Birmingham, so he could be on your team. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You know, and that's, I, when you hear yourself and I, say I that. Really, I really didn't think I could go as far as actually pay his salary to get him to stay. Right. You know what I mean? Now but, that, I, but it, you know, that crossed my mind. One now time. that I've presented I, to I you. I was beginning to think what Mark could do here at the show during the day. Right. You know now that I mean? I've presented to you how it really sounds, how right. did it sound when you said it back just then? Because well, you probably heard it. In yeah, Montevallo <laughs> to UCF. And, well, and, uh, what? The, it, you know, it was very selfish. I, well, I mean, okay. I mean okay. but look, that that's how you build championship teams. You do. Uh, yeah. no, and, and Mark and I, we kind of we have a funny past in this too. He fell uh, at our condo at the beach and broke his rib, and was unable to play up to his potential, and it cost us a state championship a year ago. So we've <laughs> we've had a lot of laughs about that too. So anyway, long story short. You didn't Mark, play his court when he couldn't play. Well, no, I, no, no. I could, we we didn't have enough players, and he had to no. play underhand because he couldn't raise his arm because he broke a rib. Why but you don't have? He a, couldn't you, breathe. You didn't have a Lithuanian standing by. No, no. We yeah. were we we're a few short because I had to work. I couldn't get there. So yeah. you know, it's so uh, you tried to change his career path so you could keep him on your <laughs> league team. Yes, that's true. <laughs> okay. So yeah. here's a guy that goes. Oh, you know, I think I'm gonna move on to another university until Bubba talked to him and changed his mind. Now he's staying. Well, I kind of enjoy trying to talk people out of things. Sometimes well, you know, it's kind of a hobby. It's a hobby. I've got I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, yeah it's a neat thing I'm doing. I don't, I don't have any luck with Rick. We'll I got to do it somewhere else. Right. Start keeping up with that. <laughs> yeah, may, may I suggest, based on what Good you point, just fella. said, would you add a new version talking yourself out of things? <laughs> <laughs> that may be. <laughs> so th- this is funny. Mark's leaving. I, I went down and I'd been telling him for two years I was going to come down and and see uh, the facility where so he, he stayed. And, no, he didn't stay. Okay. He, he was about to leave. Okay. So I went down, and uh, I met some of his players and uh, saw the facilities and everything. And then uh, so so Mark's leaving, and I said, hey, man, anything I can do for you? It's been real fun. You know, if I'm in Orlando, when you back up, holler at me, you know, anything you need. He said, well, there is one thing I need you to do. And I thought he was going to say, like, go back to the office. I forgot a box or I got a package right. coming. Yeah. He said, I've got a young lady here who just transferred here. She doesn't know anybody in the area, and she's basically going to be alone at Christmas time. Do you mind 
taking her in over Christmas. Wow. Which is not what I was expecting that's a, that's him to a, say. That's a big I do have one yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, one more thing. Yeah. One more thing. Would you mind uncomfortably having a stranger in your house over the Christmas holidays? <laughs> that's so, constantly there. So uh, I said, uh, well, yeah. I said, let me let me just call Betty, make sure. I don't know yeah. what kind of place. Show up with that. I mean, she, she, <laughs> She, she Honey, may, here's our babysitter. She she may have in, you know invited some Jordanians over or something. I didn't know, so I had to I had to talk to her and uh, she and she was like, oh, absolutely, we can't let somebody you know be alone at Christmas time. I mean, no. you know, I mean that's Christmas shoes all over again. We'll all be <laughs> waiting Christmas shoes. So uh, anyway, I had met the young lady and uh, she she's a very lovely young lady, a great tennis player, very smart. And uh, she only speaks four languages, Rick, and English better than us. It kind of, you go, gosh, we could do better. Bubba, everybody, we could do better. Everybody speaks English better than us. Oh, well, that's true. That's true. <clears throat> so uh, I, I, we, we met her, went and picked her up. Now, the kids were excited <laughs> because they were going to have company. Caitlin has a big sister now. You know, that's always a big deal. So, I bet uh, Hunter was really excited. Well, <laughs> Hunter, Hunter's very laid back. You know, he's not uh, he's not wide open. You know, on that area. Yeah, but, but didn't he turn in sixteen this February? Yes, he yeah, is. he was excited. Yeah, yeah he was. Um, <laughs> hey, Daddy. So, Look what for the best daddy ever? <laughs> yeah, Rick, I hate to ask. I him. didn't even ask Santa for this. <laughs> Rick, I hate to ask this. I was hoping for a senior in high school. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, Rick, do you think Bubba would have had the same reaction if they'd want to know if he could put up a Lithuanian power lifter? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, probably not. Tell me about three twenty. Well, you wouldn't mind taking a, our our female uh, Lithuanian heavyweight wrestler, would you? <laughs> so we, got it. you nah, know, man, we're booked. No, we. At, I can't do Christmas that. special time. Now nah, we can't do that. <laughs> we, <laughs> we had had experience in hosting, you know, foreign tennis players. Hunter, the, she's going to be staying with us the, for a week. When the Pelham tournament's in town. So we'd had a little bit of experience with this. You're like your house parents. That they, yeah. You're like the yeah. people when they yeah. go play in the Cape Cod League, the baseball yeah. players, right. and they stay right. in people's house. Yep. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so, Lucia. Honey, honey, have you seen Hunter? Lucia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lucia comes to. Uh, Merry Christmas. Come to stay with us. <laughs> And I'm sorry, Bob. I'm so sorry. I know. I'm I do. So I shouldn't have brought it up. Uh, <laughs> you're not going to get the other pearl now. That's no right. pearl for None you. None for you. Uh, I'm not the one. Quick, I'm play just, Mr. Allen. <laughs> Betty, don't be mad with so, me. <laughs> it ain't like that. Lucia comes to stay with Daddy, us. Betty, I'll never be mad with you. <laughs> with you. And uh, you know it's Daddy, very it's very educational jersey? because she you know we're getting we're getting a history lesson on the Baltic states. I yeah, mean you right. you can't you can't get that in the classroom. You know no, you really can't. And you know what that there's there's a gap in all of our lives with that. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> you, 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 I'm gonna save it for the podcast. Hello, Bo said he had another pearl, but he's not gonna let him have it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna let you have that one. No, today. here's what you here's what you don't know. Uh, Bubba told me about this before we left for vacation, knowing this was gonna happen. If you ever brought oh, it up, boy. yeah, yeah, I, I knew it would be. I knew it would be an all out. Rick, we have Helga, the German giantess. Uh, she needs somewhere to stay. No, we ain't got any room at the end. That's ah, Christmas special time. <laughs> All right, we'll come back. More with Bubba's Lithuanian Christmas gift. And I promise I'm not going to say a word. All right. Oh, wait, it, Rick, it even gets better. Her dad is Lithuanian. Her mother is Russian. Right. Yeah. And I don't know. Same thing. What are you talking about? Same thing. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.